Real talk, what's the dating scene out like? What, uh, what, how is it out? Uh, is it hard in them streets right now? Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's difficult, but hey, I'm, I'm gonna stay optimistic. You know, what's for me will not pass me by. After being married for 14 years to Corey Hardricht, Tia Maori is finding the dating scene very difficult, and she has faced some real struggles. She does have her close friends who are with her through all the struggle, but that has not solved her problem of finding love again. I want to talk about dating. Oh, God. Your ideal. I have PTSD, just so you know. <laughs> From dating? From dating, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I've had horror stories when it comes to dating. I've dated a grown ass man who put his grill on the table. I've dated a man who didn't even know what his love languages were. He said that clean sheets were. As bad as it sounds, it wasn't always like this for Tia Maori. As sister, sister concluded in 1999, Tia and her twin sister Tamara faced new challenges as young adults. They both pursued individual careers while supporting each other along the way. Tia starred in movies like The Hot Chick and appeared in various television shows. Meanwhile, Tamara found success as a host on The Real, a daytime talk show that discussed current events and lifestyle topics. In 2008, Tia married actor Corey Hardrick after nearly a decade of dating. Their love story began on the set of the film Hollywood Horror in 1999. In 2011, Tamara married Fox News correspondent Adam Housley. You know I've never dated. That's right. I have never dated. <laughs> Corey was my first. Right. Yes. Everything. I know. So I wasn't even allowed to date until I was 18 years old. I met Corey when I turned 20, and I lost my virginity at 25. There. Was that it? <laughs> and then we got married. Boom. Well, to her fans, it looked like Tia had the perfect life. She was thriving in her career, and she had two beautiful children with the love of her life. Like how many people get to have a beautiful family with their first love? But behind the cameras and white picket fence, something was terribly wrong. Yes, I, I feel like when I started to focus on myself, but there was this sadness. Um, and I knew that life is short. It, there was just an aha moment in me where I said, you know what, you need to tap in, see what's really going on with your happiness. Life is short. Let's go. Let's start working on you and really focusing on what really, really matters here, which is, at the end of the day, your peace, your joy, and your happiness. So Despite their best efforts and celebrating 14 years of marriage in April of 2022, Tia filed for divorce on October 4th, citing irreconcilable differences. Tia decided that she had to find herself, and after having two beautiful children, she considered the marriage a success. My marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm, yeah. And at the end of that curriculum and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, you know, how I'm looking at it now. And as you might already know, social media was not kind to Corey Hardricht. He had been silent all through while Tia Maori was on her media tour. And after being called all names and receiving many accusations from angry fans, Corey spoke out. Never cheated, period. So there you go. You, you want your answer, so there you go. All right, so get back to your business. So there you go, you got your answer. You got your answer, right? All right, cool. That did not stop the fans from asking Tia Maori questions. And you can't blame them. No one could have even imagined that Tia and Corey were getting a divorce. It was out of nowhere. It's not about staying in something because however long you are in that situation, that equals success. It's about really, again, are you happy? Because life is really short. Yeah. While Tia Maori was going through some major life changes, the fans wondered why they were not seeing Tamara and Tia together. Were the twin sisters not close anymore? It's times like this when I feel and wish that my sister and I were still close and I could, you know, pick up the phone and call her. We live in different places. We have our own families. We have our own wants and desires and needs. We have different lives now. I mean, I am single. <laughs> 
Then Tia decided to do something bold and share her journey of finding love again with her fans, a reality show called My Next Act. Let's just say the love is fighting hard not to be found easily, cause she's going through it. Well, it's basically my journey after a huge transition in my life. I feel like, you know, a lot of people, we go through those, right? Whether they are transitions from moving from job to job, partner, you know, to partner. Um, but we don't really see the representation, meaning what happens between A and Z. Corey Hardrick got emotional a few months ago when he was asked how he is doing after the woman he loved divorced him. I was a girl, a year and a half, crying myself to sleep every night. You know, nobody see that. Yeah. Nobody see that. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you, you, you live five minutes away from your babies, you know what I'm saying? Because people who know Corey Hardrick know that his kids and his family was everything to yeah. him. Corey Hardrick is now outside, as he stated. But he's not the only one. Tia has been dating and learning how the dating scene has changed over the years. Yeah. And you also have been speed dating. I had never heard Girl. of speed dating. Girl, what is that? And wh what was it like, Tia? It was an experience, but an experience that I will never do again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was fun. Fun is the new word for tough, it seems. She was on the Chris GQ Perry podcast, giving tea on how her expectations are getting crushed by the men she's meeting with. Oh my God! <laughs> what is it like out there for for, Do for we have a single one? Shot of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I haven't sick. been single for five years, huh? so I don't know what this world is like out there. But I know it. But from what I see and from what I hear, it is tough. It is very tough. I will say I've I've only been in the dating world for I want to say three months now, mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. I like it's exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with you know? <laughs> But Tia Maori is not one to look back. She's moving on full speed. She even went to repurpose her wedding ring to make jewelry for their children. What I wanna do is to take my wedding ring and turn it into some nice pieces, jewelry pieces for my two kids. Okay. Being that Tia Maori was only ever in one relationship, she thought that she needed the help of her friends. Her friends with the expertise are helping her sort through the many men who would disappoint and waste her time. So my friends, you know, they wanted to step in and help me, you know, with this whole dating mm -hmm. process and experience. And they're like my filters. Um, I did experience, um, you know, some situations with the apps and it, it just didn't go too well. Situations. Yeah. <laughs> so my friends, they wanted to step in and just, you know, help out. And like I said, they, have they been filter. a good help with it? They're tough. Oh. Man, if you can get through them. So they filter them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Before so they, they had, get to meet you. So they had like a pre interview. With okay. Them. While Tia Maori is struggling to find love, her critics, who did not approve the move to divorce Corey Hardricht, have been asking for Corey to throw shade at her misfortune. But Corey Hardrick has stood on his principles and protected his family. But my whole thing is my real life is my real life. And, you know, I just don't, I've never been that way. Even being in a situation married, I, I still never, I always protected my kids. And, um, you know, I protected her as well. Cause I feel like that's a man's duty, mm -hmm. you know, whether mm -hmm. you're together or not, it's to always protect her. Even though no matter what's going on, I, I, I just don't, I don't fall into the pressure. Like you can't mm -hmm. pressure me into putting no one down and saying, this is what happened or this did me like, mm -hmm. never that, you know? It's always gonna be unconditional love with me. Tell us in the comments what you think about Tia Maori's friends helping her find love. And for the gentle souls who would want to date Tia Maori before being interviewed by her friends, this is the kind of man she would want to date. Yeah, I think, I think for me, emotional intelligence is just so important, the, the, you know, I, to I me. That. You being mindful yeah. of just who you are, your behaviors, your traumas, your triggers. Are you in therapy? That's a good one. <laughs>